Hey everybody, what have you guys been thinking about lately? Making God happy today? Well, maybe that should be first and foremost on our foreheads. So I've learned the offering. It's a food offering. It's cannabis. It's kinebasum. It's missing a letter, a dot, in the Hebrew. It's kinebasum. It's been around for 3,500 years since the Torah has been written. At that point, Hashem's name's been taken out of the Greek. We're going to find it today, and we're going to really search and ask, who is Jesus? We know he's Jewish, and we know he's a teacher of Judaism, and he teaches in the synagogues. But is he the offering and the atonement sacrifice? Yes, he is. See, for this is the aroma of the presence of the Holy Spirit. And at that point, it flows in our blood flow. Welcome to the blood of Christ. So as we learn about who Jesus Christ, the Messiah, the anointed one of oil, of the joy that King David speaks about, we are in Matthew 5. We are talking about Jesus and the fulfillment of the law. And he clearly says, hey, guys, I came here to fulfill the law. Don't even doubt like Miriam and think for a second that I didn't come here to tell the story of Moses and all the prophets. They wrote about me. Remember, I'm the culmination of the entire book because I'm the branch that you add to fire to please Hashem. So when it says, I came to fulfill the law, well, what is he talking about? Well, let's go back and read the law. Um, the law is... Exodus 20. We'll start there real quick. Exodus 20. We're going to do some flipping today. So get ready to flip and flop. Exodus 20, the Ten Commandments. Now Jesus is coming to fulfill these commandments. This is the law. So listen to what Jesus says. He's reading this. He knows this. He's speaking of Hashem. And God spoke all these words. I am the Lord your God who brought you out of Egypt, out of the land of slavery. Okay, God brought us all out of slavery. Well, he's bringing us out of slavery now because we're paying attention and we're learning that he did it for our ancestors. Here's the main instruction I want you guys to hear today. You shall have no other gods before me. Now, Jesus has read that and he believes that. He serves God only, his father. And he says, his father. And it also says, you shall not make for yourselves an image in the form of anything in heaven above or on the earth beneath or in the waters below. Because there's only one God for the Jews, which is why we're learning about Jesus today. So we've got a first flip to Matthew 23, 34. Two, three, four. Two, two, and then two threes, and then a four. There it is on the screen. So the greatest commandment. Hearing that Jesus had silenced the Sadducees and the Pharisees, they got together. One of them, an expert in the law, tested him with this question. So that's when we get into heaven. We're going to be asked questions. Moses is going to ask us a question. Are we going to be able to answer it? I can. Here we go. Teacher, which is the greatest commandment in the law? Jesus replied, Love the Lord your God with all your heart and with all your soul and with all your mind. This is the first and greatest commandment. And the second is like it. Love your neighbor as yourself. All the law and the prophets hang on these two commandments. Baruch Hashem.